How's it going everyone? Meet you with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about Logic's Impulse Response Loader, or in other words, the Space Designer. So before we get into this, let's just hear the raw sound of this track that we have in front of us. It's going to be a direct input guitar, no effects, compression, EQ, anything on this track, just direct in. And this is what it sounds like. All right, so just typical direct in guitar sound. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be convoluting this track with an impulse response that models a certain amplifier with a certain microphone recorded with a certain preamp. Now, the impulse response loader inside of Logic is specific for reverb in that everything, all of the impulse responses held inside of it natively are just reverb. But what we can do is extend this and input our own sample that models this amplifier, microphone, preamp combination. And we can do that by selecting over here on the left of this user interface, IR sample button, we can click that and uh, we can find our personal samples that we found, our impulse response files. These can be found all over the internet, most of them for free, a lot of them for free. Um, and just, just search it and you should be able to find a lot. And uh, let's find, let's do the Mesa 4x12 impulses and we'll select one that's recorded with an AT3035 microphone. Now, you double click it and it jumps right in and inserts it into the space designer. A, num a couple things to note here is that our dry signal needs to be turned down. This is our original signal. Our reverb signal is our convoluted signal and we need to turn that up a little bit. So let's do a before and after and see what this sounds like. This is a before. And that is after. So you can tell that right off the bat it gives it a lot of body and it sounds like it's actually being recorded through an amplifier. Another thing is that these impulse responses do not record anything non-linear, which means that there's not going to be any distortion or compression included in these impulse responses. You have to find your own means of adding those two, which shouldn't be too difficult. There's a lot of plugins inside of Logic Natively that you can do this with if you don't have any external plugins. Now, recording a guitar, actually, from an amplifier in front of you, a lot of the times you want to record it with multiple microphones. And this is a good thing because you can have multiple tracks, you can pan, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with, and it gives you a bigger tone in general. So since these impulse responses are recorded through different microphones sometimes, if you find certain packs like that, you can model this exact kind of recording with multiple tracks, multiple impulse responses, and multiple instances of the space designer, which I have here as well. Now, uh, a couple things to note is this track, um, number two on the top, I just opened, is going to be a condenser microphone on the same piece of guitar. And this bottom one is going to be the dynamic microphone. So, and then also I just pan these minus 25 and positive 25. So just kind of get some separation and make the tone a little bit bigger. So it's not just all crammed down the middle channel. Now, so I'm just going to do a before and after this and we'll see what it sounds like. It should sound a lot fuller and uh, just bigger in general. So uh, this is the uh, track without... This is the track without any impulse response, anything, just dry again. Alright, and this is the double track with the twin impulse responses. So a very wide sound, a lot more full than the original. Uh, you, you can just get a lot of great sounds on this. And you can uh, use Pod Farm. You can use your amp designer and pedal designer inside of Logic. You can do all kinds of things after this step. And uh, you can get some great tones with this as well. Uh, so that's really, that's really about it that I wanted to show you guys today. Thank you for watching. Comment rate, subscribe like a freaking best, and I should be seeing you all very soon. Do not forget to fill out that survey, uh, which selects my next tutorial. 
freaking awesome. Peace out, y'all.